There's so much McDonald's on the floor, even his hairline turned to a permanent sponsor. He sort of remind me of Bunyan if he had a chronic addiction to Funyuns. I also love the little roly-poly formation he's starting to do. It's almost like I'm watching a disabled Bakugan trying to transform for the first time. He's built like a giant soldier off of the Flood Army from Halo, and he'll be the sole survivor too because this man isn't starving himself to death anytime soon. Just look at that Mick Massacre on the damn floor. I'm sure you gave all the roaches on the floor a happy f***ing Thanksgiving. I think I can even see a mouse raising a wine glass to make a toast in the background. Sitting there all afar, looking like the little ballerina bear from Madagascar. I mean, just look at him. He looks like a smiling Buddha statue, but my first impression, I thought you were Christian because I thought this shit was a diabetic version of The Last Supper. This is some shit a prisoner on death road requests just to piss the PO off. I mean, how did a biscuit get across the floor? Were you doing snow angels in the bitch playing shuffleboard with the biscuit to see if you score a 50? Like, how the fuck did that even end up there? Bitch ate so much chicken, his body turned into a rotisserie. Punch butter the Nota Gut. Every time you eat spicy fire ramen noodles, you go, ooh, sis, that's spicy. Like a bi curious jab of the hut. Gotta bust out a pair of pliers just so you can lift your stomach up to bust a nut. Looking ass, bitch. I feel like if I dropped a book by this man, he would jump in the air like a fucking cat. Sitting out here eating a five course meal, looking like the appetizer off a of SpongeBob. Y'all remember Pearl from the Blade series? I mean, just look at that shit. It looks like a fucking symbiote possessed this man's body and scoured through a dumpster to find some chicken wings in one throw. And he's all flopping around, looking like an index factor, shoulder blades, looking like a goddamn protractor. Better the Discord logo. I feel like every time this man sneezes, he goes. I ain't desperate. Got a death wish, I wake up every morning, got a zany and her lettuce for breakfast. Alright, welcome back ladies and ladies with dicks. It's been a fat minute since we last took a look at the Babadook of vegans known as Nikado Avocado. Since we last took a gander of the sex slave of Colonel Sanders, he was one four-piece combo away from bringing the world back into another Pangea. I'm sure you guys have had a few power outages because every time this man jumps out of bed and flaps his titties, he blows the lights out of every city. The only time Alaska gets dark is when this man steps outside. Nick is the modern day airbender. This man can control an ocean tide just by yawning. So when we last took a look at the peak of the cheeky cheeks, Jesus Christ, I fucked that up. I sound like a sex offender role-playing on Discord. Speaking of Discord, if you guys want one safe place where you won't get groomed, you guys can join my server. You also scientifically, it's been proven, grow a few extra inches on your penis. We have many important political discussions in there, such as tits, butts, Indian tiki huts, and sex crimes and pizza huts. So honestly, I don't know why you haven't joined yet. I'm looking at you through your window. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Turn around. It's me. Don't worry about why I'm naked. It's hot in Ohio. <laughs> So when we last took a peek at the cheesy cheeks of Nick, we covered him shitting more in his pants than his own toilet. He got into the point where he was dropping so many stools while sitting on a stool that people literally made mashups and slideshows of him blowing Cajun out of his wrinkled raisin. It got to the point where almost every video you could expect this man to rain a shower out of his chocolate flower. And I wish I was kidding. This man deadass dropped a spooky dookie on camera on so many multiple occasions. It became like his Tekken 7 final combo move or like a little WWE finisher of him being the shitter spitter. It's absolutely appalling. I even had to wipe my own ass just to check if that shit was real. And if you still don't believe me, then I'll show you one of the many times this man dropped a slimy dime out of his ass. Nothing came out. <clears throat> Nothing came out. Close it. Keep it closed. Bro. And don't worry, he made sure to show his two pieces of evidence to corroborate his work. And I guess if there's any Dookie detectives or if Odell Beckham Jr. was watching and wasn't satisfied with just the audio, this man provided rectum receipts of him presenting his chart like it was a modern work of art. But I'm pretty sure my monetization would take a piss if I showed a pixel of shit, so you guys are gonna have to take my word of him showing off his manure mosaic. And the last time I checked, I really don't like looking at shit my fucking self, so I'm not showing anything for the safety of both of our stomachs. So it's widely known that Nick's love blowing things out of his ass, but he also loves shoving things in them. I discussed previously of the day I developed insomnia where I was enjoying a beautiful Sunday morning. The sun was beginning to rise and the crackheads began retreating into the forest. And since I wanted to ruin my day, I did what any rational person would do, which is to go on Twitter. And that's exactly what fucking happened because my eyes exploded to a blinding solar eclipse of Nick showing off his chocolate starfish on my timeline. I immediately screamed once I saw it wink back at me. I didn't even know it was possible for an asshole to be an Audi. And obviously I'm not showing that to not trigger my gag reflex. And the only thing that would be wiped here is my fucking channel if I showed any of that bussy bit rate. But cameras aren't the only things he loves shoving up his ass because he also brings his boyfriend on for a lot of his mukbangs and their relationship is what married couples strive for. If your parents are divorced and you show them a Nikado Avocado video, they'll instantly get back together and have to start a Weight Watchers program. I didn't get you ranch. I forgot to ask for ranch. Get the ranch. Eat the ranch. Eat the ranch. No. This couple is so in love with each other that matter of fact they break up every week and get back together the next just to make sure they don't end up eating each other. Half of their videos literally are them doing Mortal Kombat finishing moves with slices of pizza and arguing over which one of them has the smallest penis for 40 minutes. No, I said my was three inches. No, my dinky looks like a toasted Twinkie. Oh yeah, the last time I was with the girl she gave me a standing ovation for coming out as transgender when I pulled my pants down. Oh yeah, the last time I was with the girl she stuttered because she thought I had a cow udder. 
<laughs> I've already covered their glory story in previous videos, but one week Nick will be proposing to Orland with the onion ring and a pit bull foamy mouth blowjob, but then the next week after that, Nick will be telling him that he cheated on him with the whale at the bottom of the fucking ocean, and then the next week after that, Orland will tell Nick he was clapping balls with a malt sand in the bathroom stalls, and it's just an ongoing cycle of them just swapping back and forth, every video of them almost looking like some sort of Rule 34 version of Hungry Hungry Hippos, every one of their videos feels like I'm watching a Nat Geo Wild documentary because they always look like two elephant seals clashing together to see it's the last bite of a happy meal. But if you're new and want to see for yourself some prime examples of this couple's heart-filled titles, then let your dog's balls be hold and let the truth be told because you might fall to your knees and start crying through both heads because of the jealousy you'll build up through this tear-captivating story of being cousins by chance but lovers by choice. Orlin gave me a birthday gift. Ooh, I wonder what it could be. Hopefully something that will build the relationship even stronger. Orlin cheated. Well, you know what they say. When life gives you lemons, you fuck the neighbor next door. Orlin caught me cheating. Emotional. Seems like the skill-based matchmaking system is bugged because this shouldn't even be possible. We broke up. Why we can't break up. Why we can't save our marriage. We broke up. We're getting back together. Orlin is gone. I broke my back. So as you can see, this couple is something you would read right out of a fairy tale. Their relationship is an absolute heart stopper, figuratively and literally. I'm sure all of you can wish to build a bond as strong as this couple right here. It was actually rumored that Fifty Shades of Grey was inspired after the author jerk went out to their OnlyFans. So this is a relationship that's about as strong as an anorexic child trying to fist fight a fucking horse. But Nick's back is not the only thing that's broke because the last thing we previously covered was Nick coming out as disabled like it was some sort of act of bravery even though I'm pretty sure the world wouldn't stop if you actually were. Absolutely nobody would be surprised. It's not like the blind people would take off their glasses. Amputees would grow their limbs back like a fucking starfish and start running across the streets in terror. I mean your body's built like a wisdom tooth. It's not gonna be some breaking news fucking outbreak like a zombie apocalypse just happened. Everybody's gonna tune in to see that you're disabled. Like nobody gives a flying clit shit about it and nobody would be surprised either. But the one surprising thing about all this is is he actually wasn't disabled disabled at all. Not even a slight bit. So in short, Nick came out with a video explaining how he is bedridden because I guess he slept the wrong way and woke up with his ribs shattered. You know, a frequent issue in the hospital. Something that just happens to the best of us. So he flapped his wings and squawked like a bird and popped out a turd and fucking whined for an hour of him explaining how much it hurts to move, even though the only movement this motherfucker knows is the DoorDash driver arriving because of the heat sensor he planted in his own front yard. I bet this motherfucker's number one most watched show is probably his own ring doorbell. I honestly feel bad for any delivery driver that dares to step foot on this beast's cave because all he's gonna hear is happy do to bob noises whenever he steps on the porch. <laughs> but the next video after that he uploaded the next day he was doing one of his marching routines where he prances around like one of the seven little reindeers so I guess it was just a medical miracle on how he recovered in the span of 24 hours. He must be one of the fucking X-Men or something because he took off his respirator mask and chugged a bottle of Estes flask from Dark Souls to recover that damn fast. So that pretty much catches up on the lore of this grease carnivore but if you're confused on how Nick managed to gain three times his own body weight in the span of a year I don't know how you go from eating a chicken wing and letting out a grunt of turning into the fucking monster from Space Hunt. But don't worry, you're not alone because Nick himself is also confused on how he's just gaining all this weight. Acting like this gelatinous behemoth doesn't consume 10,000 plus calories every day and have a cup of fry grease on the side just to add for flavor. But in that video, he tried to justify that all of his excessive weight gain wasn't actually to the fact that he's eating 10 meals a day, but it was just simply water weight. And far be it for me to question the nutritional neurologist here, but if all of that was just water, then you would have to be tipping over fish tanks and chugging them to get a physique like that. I mean, your body is built like a male box so slap my balls to the blue i know that ain't true i mean you look like the one titan that was blushing on the roof so to say that it's all just water is like trying to crown a new heavyweight champion at fucking Auschwitz. however one thing i have not decided to look at yet is his official tiktok page i've only had the stomach to see his youtube videos but he's a renowned tiktoker as well and honestly i have nothing but the lowest expectations on what to see on there i mean shit might get wild he might bust down the maybach truck dance on a pile of oysters or start throwing it back on some flapjacks so stand up don't relax and choke on whatever food you're eating on because we're going to be watching some cocks jiggle on TikTok. My rent. Now I have a place to starve. This looks like one of those cursed dick pill ads you get on the sidebar of a Pornhub video. His stomach looks like I'm trying to watch a goldfish swim around in a water balloon. It's like an octopus head bobbing up and down. So here, Nikocado Avocado seems to reenact the scene out of the thing. I'm almost expecting him to give birth to a xenomorph in the next five seconds. But apparently, he's squirming around like a little sad worm because he paid his rent. Which I guess is a terrible thing. Why pay rent with a boyfriend when you can just live in a fucking prison cell and get your asshole blown out for free? But the more frightening thing than Nick twerking his stomach on the damn mattress is who is recording this catastrophe. Because so help me god if it's one of orland's single weeks and who is it his church pastor documenting his exorcism or hell maybe it's even the landlord that just got done filming a porn scene with nick to celebrate paying the rent and that's why he's spazzing around on the bed sheets i mean he's shaking around like a tampa airport massage chair he's jiggling around like a ball of bread dough that's stuck in the mixer but so far we're probably off to the worst way imaginable but just like chris chan seeing his mother i just can't get enough of it so let's continue to see this wild animal in his natural habitat hey i had vegetables 
because vegetables are good for my body. But so here this dusty shark decided to eat some fruit and do a victory emote a character would do in Mario Kart after winning a race. It's like someone threw a red shell at this motherfucker. I almost expected him to do a dolphin flip after eating that watermelon. This is actually easily explainable. His body is so used to Little Caesars that if he eats anything healthy, he starts to have a mini seizure. Which is why as soon as he took a bite, he started waving around like one of those inflatable friends you see at a car dealerships if a fucking hurricane was blowing around outside. It's like watching Mario dance whenever he wins in the power pup panels. Also, I don't know why he's dramatically narrating this whole thing like he's trying to deliver this shit like it's a damn joker monologue you want to know how i got these gallstones also i'm not exactly a health professional but the last time i checked a watermelon isn't a vegetable but i mean what else can you expect from the guy that thinks exercising is a form of satanism and got to the point where he has a life expectancy of a fucking bulldog i mean he's shaking around his breast looking like a damn pirate chest it's really hard to trust a word that comes out of this man's mouth then i realized it gives me diabetes Here's the chance. I mean, what can you even say to that, really? Motherfucker hit the Mickey Mouse clubhouse and collapsed from exhaustion. What you just witnessed is probably the most exercise he has gotten in the last five years. I've said this before, but seeing his weight gain journey is like watching a person with asthma trying to inflate a pool floaty. For those who don't know, this is what Nick used to look like a few years back. He was actually basing his content solely around eating healthy, and in the span of a few years, he managed to take decades off his life by going from munching on some kale to turning into a great big fucking beluga whale. I don't know how you go from eating sunflower vegan chili to having your body look like a compressed squid billy but to be fair this is proof for all the people out there that don't believe nick is capable of eating healthy and getting exercise because this video clearly proved us wrong you saw him lick that watermelon and saw him rolling around like an armadillo that's stuck on his back and if that doesn't show that he exercises then i don't know what does so let's take another look at more workout routines nick has developed for himself in order to maintain his greek god physique So here he's hitting the Brooklyn flop looking like a thwomp. I bet every time he stubs his toe in a chair, he goes, Bleh! His stomach reminds me of that one episode of South Park where Randy had to shove his balls in a wheelbarrow. So here Nick decides to bust down a little Jimmy John shimmy in his chair to burn some calories, even though I'm pretty sure I just gained 50 watching his strange assortment of interpretive dance moves, or whatever the fuck you call this. And you may say he looks like a blob of melted ice cream that's been left out in the sun for two weeks, but I'll tell you what, he is melting off them calories like there is no tomorrow. I mean, just look at him. He's working so hard, this potbelly cripple almost blew a nipple off because of how dedicated he is. Keep in mind, this is all months old. Lord can only know what kind of great achievements and milestones that this man accomplished today. So let's see if you could change from looking like a garbage bag of glad to a chiseled chin chat. Yep, okay, he's still galloping around like a fucking horse that's got brick tied to its hooves. The last time we waited on Nick, he weighed a whopping 350 pounds, and I thought getting to the point where if you step in an elevator, the only way you're going down would be this man's breaking point. But nope, he just wants to keep going and growing to morph into some sort of humongous big chungus with a fungus infection, curved direction, taking a left direction, colossal mammoth fossil, megadon tonsil, walk in the door, feather bird, wheelchair, riding, food stamp, lick and stick, and dick in a peck of the KFC chicken, belly button picking, unsolved mystery dick and lock nest, depressed, take off a bed sheet, he's undressed, grease in his cum, belly built like a a drum off the marching band, stomach like a ball of rubber bands, Kirby in a demolition derby, super size, large fries, has the thighs the size of five guys, collapses along every time he sighs, motion blur, southpaw, paw patrol, belly on pulse control, red circle of death, fish, juice, breath, big birth, a birth ass monster. Because as I'm recording this, Nick said himself that he weighs over 500 pounds, so in the span of nine months, he somehow managed to grow a full size adult in his own body, and it's honestly fucking sad. I mean, although I'm clowning on him for his weight, he does need serious help. If you couldn't already tell, this is not how he is naturally at all, or at least once was. Back in 2018, he was actually a really healthy person that advocated on a good diet and didn't act like he just got administrated in the Arkham Asylum. It wasn't until he started to notice the videos he posted on him collecting onion rings like they Sonic coins were doing better than the ones where he actually was eating something that wasn't damaging to his own body. So instead of worrying about his own activity, he worried about his channel activity more. And evidently, after a few years, he turned into whatever monstrosity he is today. And is still doing the exact same thing every single day. Matter of fact, when he took a break a few months back and didn't post on social media for a few weeks, people literally presumed him to be dead on the scene because that's how scary his weight gain is. He could have just been humping llamas in the Bahamas, actually enjoying himself, and other people at home would be like, oh, I hope he didn't suffer. Which one of his organs failed first, liver or lung? And it's honestly just sad because he's doing what he thinks is right to not kill his channel, but in reality, he's just slowly killing himself. And matter of fact, Nick himself claimed that the reasoning to why he was gone was because he suffered from a heart attack on camera, which I hate to be the spoiler of the movie here, but it wasn't real whatsoever at all. So go ahead and roll Nick near death encounter, which he decided to document and also sit down, edit and upload in the ICU while the nurse was giving him chest compressions. 
click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. I mean, what a goddamn hero. This man is so dedicated to his fan base that he will lay on his deathbed and send you his last words if you set him $100 for a private cameo. Just absolutely fucking pathetic, but that you would fake something as serious as a heart attack, which affects millions of people, and your holly jolly fan addicted Santa built ass decide to gobble and wobble in front of a camera and clickbait your audience into believing you were actually on the verge of death. It's just fucking disgusting. It's like a family channel making a video on how they just adopted a child, but then they show you a Trojan sponsor. Like, it just has almost no correlation and is something you shouldn't ever post, but just by taking a look on how much you care about your body, I think it's an accurate demonstration on how much you care about everything else. 453.2 pounds. <gasps> Yay! Yay, you have a media and have to be airlifted to every grocery store and need a certified forklift driver just to take you to walk to the park. You know, watching a video by Nakato Avocado is something that works better than therapy. If you ever feel down or upset with yourself, you can always just reassure you that you are and will always be better than these people right Tangles. here. Oh, that's a happy taste. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Hearing this with just audio sounds like two deaf people fucking for the first time. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that's gonna wrap this video up here. We really didn't miss out on much from the last time we looked at him. His channel didn't grow that much either, but his body did. Honestly, I feel like if he really wanted to, Nick could have a mean-ass comeback. Who the hell do you Okay, I guess everything in the fucking world needs to happen when I record. But I feel like if he took the time to actually focus on his own self- what the fuck is your problem? But if I can finish the sentence by the time the fucking sun sets, I would like to say, in my eyes, a video of you showing your transformation and doing workout guides would give you a lot more views and seeing how many chicken nuggets you can stuff up your ass before your heart pops out of it. It's what a lot of people want to see from you, and it's what you need to do, because if it keeps going down this route and find a way to double your mass every time a new month rolls around, then you're probably not going to have that much time left. Obesity is a terrifying thing, and it really can kill you, and seeing your health decline so rapidly, there's just not knowing how much time is left until Nick finally does kick the family bucket. This video was a little short. There wasn't much new content that came out of Nick besides the same old mukbangs he does, so finding new substance to talk about was a little bit difficult. But if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to slap a like before your dad slaps you. Subscribe to hit my vibe and follow all my socials. Links down below. Especially my Instagram. I'll send y'all some job application because some of y'all in my DMs actually need the path of God. Some corporate establishment hiring positions. I don't fucking know. Like, look at this shit. This motherfucker is an official sports highlight page for a football team. A whole social media manager and this bitch pops up in my shit asking this. Like, ew, no. You can blow into a trumpet with a dead fish in it. The hell is wrong with you? But I, I'm gonna head out this bitch and I'll catch y'all soon.